table of contents. Tour the cruise ports, Naples, Capri and Salerno. Naples, Capri and Salerno. Italy. This is the flag of Italy. Where is Italy? Italy is in southern Europe. Most of the country is in the form of a long peninsula that juts out into the Mediterranean Sea. Italy is also comprised of the islands of Sicily, Sardinia, and a number of smaller islands. The mainland of Italy is shaped like a boot, with the toe pointing toward the island of Sicily. The Italian peninsula is bounded on the west by the Tyrrhenian Sea, and on the east by the Adriatic Sea, and on the south by the Ionian Sea. The narrow strait between the toe or mainland of Italy and the island of Sicily is called the Strait of Messina. The narrow part of the Mediterranean Sea between Sicily and Tunisia in Africa is called the Strait of Sicily. Here are some of the major tourist cities of Italy. The population of Italy is 58 million. Italy ranks 23 in population among the countries of the world, and is just a little less than France and the UK, both at around 60 million. And considerably less than Germany at 82 million. The population of Italy is, however, much greater than that of Greece which is only 10.7 million. The population density of Italy is about 200 persons per square kilometers, or 512 per square mile. Here is a comparison of the population density of Italy with that of other European countries, together with the US and Canada. Italy is two-thirds urban and one-third rural. The chief religious affiliation is, of course, Roman Catholic, with 98% of the population identifying themselves as such. The capital and largest city of Italy is Rome with a population of 2.6 million. The second largest city is Milan in northern Italy with a population of 1.3 million in third place is Naples in the south with 1 million. Other principal cities in Italy are Venice, Verona, and Padua in the north. Along with Turin, Bologna, Ravenna, and Genoa and Florence. The tiny independent country of San Marino, with a population 26,000, is entirely surrounded by Italy. The Vatican City, also an independent country, lies entirely within the city of Rome. In the southern part of Italy some important cities are Naples, and on the island of Sicily, Palermo and the ancient town of Syracuse. Here are the various regions of Italy. Florence and Pisa are in Tuscany, Rome is in Lazio, and Naples and Salerno are in Campania. Lombardé, and to a lesser extent Piedmont, is the industrial heartland of Italy, with such centers of industry as Milan and Turin. The Italian automobile industry with such makes as Renault and Fiat are in this area. The Industrial Triangle of Italy is roughly enclosed by Milan, Turin and Genoa. In particular Fiat is an acronym for Fabbrica Italiana Automobili Torino, Italian Car Factory of Turin. Milan's famous opera house, Teatro alla Scala, has been rebuilt and remodeled several times.
It was first built on the command of Austrian Empress Maria Theresa in the 1770s. Remodeled in 1867 and 1921. And then rebuilt after World War II in 1946. What time is it in Italy? These are the time zones in Europe. We see that Italy, like Spain and France, is at GMT plus one. That is one hour ahead of the time in the UK. The south of Italy is called the Mezzogiorno. The term Mezzogiorno means midday in Italian and is a reference to the strength of the midday sun in southern Italy. The Mezzogiorno, or south, is the least prosperous region of the country, compared to the richer northern and central Italy. Problems in the south include corruption and high unemployment. 37% of Italy's population occupies 40% of the land area in the south, but only produces 24% of the GDP. Naples is 120 miles, or 190 kilometers southeast of Rome. Naples is located on the northern side of the Bay of Naples. Here is Naples in the Bay of Naples. 30 miles, or 50 kilometers to the east of Naples is Salerno, and the Gulf of Salerno. Salerno is the main town close to the Castiera Amalfi Tanau, the Amalfi Coast on the Tyrrhenian Sea. The Amalfi Coast includes the famous towns of Amalfi, Positano, and others. Salerno Salerno is a small city with a population of 150,000 on the Gulf of Salerno, of the Tyrrhenian Sea. Salerno is an important cultural center in Campania and Italy, and has had a long and eventful history. Salerno has a rich and varied culture. The port of Salerno is one of the most active of the Tyrrhenian Sea. Some 7 millions of tons of goods a year moves through the port of Salerno, 60%, of which is made up by containers. In the 16th century, under the San Severino family, amongst the most powerful feudal lords in southern Italy, the city became a great center of learning, culture and the arts, and the family hired several of the greatest intellectuals of the time. Salerno is known for its Scuola Medica Salernitana, the first medical university in the world. In 1694, Salerno was struck by several catastrophic earthquakes and plagues. Afterwards there was a period of Spanish rule that would last until the 18th century. After that, Salerno had a period of Napoleonic rule. Salerno played an important role in World War II. Italy was allied with Nazi Germany at the beginning of World War II. The Axis powers of Germany and Italy had control of almost all of North Africa in 1942. Stalin demanded the opening of a second front against Germany to relieve the pressure on Russia. Britain and America were not yet prepared for a major continental invasion, so a compromise was reached in the North Africa campaign. The Allies planned an Anglo-American invasion of northwestern Africa, Morocco and Algeria, territory nominally in the hands of the Vichy French government. The Vichy French had around 60,000 soldiers in Morocco as well as coastal artillery. A handful of tanks and aircraft, 10 warships and 11 submarines at Casablanca. The Allies task forces landed at three beaches near Casablanca, as well as at Oran in Algiers. The Allies landed on November 8, 1942, 
and soon forced the capitulation of the Vichy regimes in Morocco and Algeria. The Allies then drove eastward against Rommel's German army. Sicily was invaded and liberated in July 1943. Operation Avalanche The invasion of the Italian peninsula started with the landings near Anzio and Salerno in November of 1942. Some of the Allied landings during Operation Avalanche occurred near Salerno in September 1943. Salerno was the scene of the beginning of Operation Avalanche and suffered a great deal of damage. In September 1943, Marshal Pietro Badoglio, acting as Italy's Prime Minister, signed an armistice with the Allied forces and Italy surrendered unconditionally. In October 1943, Italy declared war against Germany. Seated next to Marshal Badoglio is United States General Maxwell Taylor. The King of Italy moved from Rome to Salerno in 1943 after Italy negotiated a peace with the Allies in World War II. A brief so-called Government of the South was then established in Salerno, which became the capital of Italy from February 12 to July 17, 1944. Salerno hosted the government of Marshal Pietro Badoglio in those months Salerno was the temporary capital of the Kingdom of Italy, and King Victor Emmanuel III lived in a mansion in its outskirts. The liberation of Rome by the Allies occurred in June of 1944. The liberation of Rome by the Allies Salerno Sites Salerno is located at the geographical center of a triangle nicknamed the Taurus Triangle of the 3P, namely a triangle with the corners in Pompeii, Pastum and Positano. This gives Salerno special tourist characteristics that are increased by the many local points of tourist interest like the Lungamer Triest, the Castello di Arici, the Duomo and the Museo di Matico della Scuola Medica Salernitana. The Lungomer Triast Promenade of Salerno was created from the sea during the 1950s, and it is one of the best in Italy, comparable to those of the French Riviera. The Lungomer Triast Promenade extends for nearly five miles with many rare palms. This is the old tourist port of Salerno. These are some tourist sites in Salerno. Castello di Arici, Arici Castle, is a massive castle commanding the city from a 300 meter or 984 foot hill. It was enlarged by Arici II over a pre existing Roman Byzantine construction. Today it houses rooms for exhibitions and congresses. The Castello di Arici, Arici Castle, offers a spectacular view of the city and the Gulf of Salerno. The Centro Storico di Salerno, or historical center of Salerno, is believed to be one of the best maintained in the Italian peninsula. Its Via dei Mercanti, Merchant Street, is even today the main center of shopping in the city. The Salerno Cathedral dominates the historical downtown Salerno, with its characteristic bell tower in the crypt area. It is the tomb of one of the Twelve Apostles, Saint Matthew the Evangelist. This cathedral is one of the main tourist attractions of Salerno. The Duomo is in the center of the Centro Storico di Salerno, the historical center of Salerno. This is the Duomo. The Cathedral of Salerno. This is the pulpit inside Duomo. This is inside the Duomo di Salerno. This is the Campanile at the Duomo in Salerno. The word Duomo derives from the Latin word domus, meaning house, 
as a cathedral is the house of God, or Damas Dei. Giardino della Minerva The Garden of Minerva is situated in the fringes of the castle hill that dominates the old Salerno Inn. It can be found the medieval Hortus Sinitatus of the Scola Medica Salernitana that was the first European Ordo Botanico, or Botanic Garden. The Forte La Carnali, or Castle La Carnali got his name from a medieval battle against the Arabs. It is used as a cultural center for expositions and meetings. The Salerno Theatre, Teatro Verdi, was built in 1872. The theatre was destroyed during the 1980 earthquake and rebuilt in 1994 for the celebrations of the 50th anniversary of Salerno capital of Italy. In the background on a hill is the castle of Arelci. Palazzo Genovese was built in 1744 by renowned architect Mario Giafrido in late Baroque style. The palace is located in the heart of the historic center of Salerno. At the beginning of the Via dei Mercanti, the oldest shopping street, and near the old forum of the Romans, Salerno. The Chiesa di San Giorgio, or Church of San Giorgio, is the most beautiful Baroque church of Salerno. It is related to one of the most ancient monasteries of the city, dating back to the early 9th century. The Chiesa di San Giorgio has paintings of Andrea Sabatini and frescoes by Francesco and Angelo Salamina. This is the Palazzo della Provincia di Salerno. This is the Temple of Surir Athena. This is the Chiesa St. Francisco or the Church of St. Francisco in Salerno. The Palazzo di Città di Salerno or Town Hall was constructed in 1936 in typical fascist style. Its main hall, the Marmol Saloon, was the meeting room for the first government of the Kingdom of Italy after the fall of fascism in 1943. Pompeii and Herculaneum This is a map showing the cities and towns affected by the eruption of the Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Pompeii is the ruins of a Roman city near Naples. It was destroyed and completely buried during a catastrophic eruption of the volcano Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The volcano buried Pompeii under many feet of ash. Pompeii was lost for 1,600 years before its accidental rediscovery in 1748. Since then, its excavation has provided an extraordinarily detailed insight into the life of a city at the height of the Roman Empire. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Pompeii has become a popular tourist destination with approximately 2.5 million visitors a year. It is the most popular tourist attraction in Italy. Pompeii is now part of a larger Vesuvius National Park. Pompeii is now generally less accessible to tourists, with less than a third of all buildings that were open in the 1960s being available for public viewing today. Nevertheless, the sections of the ancient city open to the public are extensive, and tourists can spend many days exploring the whole site. This is a fresco on the wall of a Pompeii house. This is the Forum of Pompeii as seen from inside the Basilica. This is the Teatro Grande with a large audience capacity, next to Teatro Piccolo. This is a computer-generated depiction of the eruption of Vesuvius in AD 79, which buried Pompeii. Some plaster casks of victims of the eruption are still in Pompeii, but many are in the Archaeological Museum of Naples. Herculaneum was an ancient Roman town between Naples and Pompeii. It was destroyed 
along with Pompeii. In the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius buried both towns in a superheated material ejected from the volcano that has solidified into volcanic tuff. 150 skeletons were found near the beach, many of which showed evidence of lead poisoning. Because of the lead that seeped into the syrup of cheap wine stored in lead containers. This is a wall mosaic of Neptune and Amphitrite in Herculaneum. This is a view of Herculaneum. This is another view of Herculaneum. Campi Flagrini is a large caldera area to the west of Naples. Campi Flegri is also known as the Flegrian Fields, which is Greek for burning fields. Today most of the crater lies underwater, but includes the Solfatara Crater, home of the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. This is a view of Capri from the sea. Capri is an Italian island in the Gulf of Naples. It has been a celebrated beauty spot and resort since the time of the Roman Republic. The islands of Capri, Ischia, and Pregida can all be reached quickly by hydrofoils and ferries. The town of Capri is the main center of population on the island. It has two harbors, Marina Piccola and Marina Grande which is the main port of the island. The separate commune of Anacapri is located high on the hills to the west. Deep blue water surrounds this tiny yet mountainous limestone island in the Golfo di Napoli, famous for its many fascinating grottos and sea caves. The Blue Grotto, or Grotta Azura, is the best known of the grottos. Sunlight refracted through the water inside the cave generates ever-changing shades of blue that seem to radiate from beneath the water's surface, creating a spectacular effect. When the sea is calm, boats can enter the grotto, which is large enough to fit a number of small craft. Recommended video, Blue Grotto, Grotta Azura, in Coppery Island, 2 minutes. 25 seconds. Capri has a funicular from the Marina Grande, docks up to Capri Town. The funicular runs every 15 minutes and costs 1 euro and 40 cents. There's also minibuses and taxis. This is a view of town of Capri. This is a view overlooking the Capri Harbor from the rotunda in Villa San Michele. This is the Capri Harbor as seen from a Capri. The Certo di San Giacomo is a Carthusian monastery on Capri founded in 1363. Here is the location of Certo di San Giacomo on Capri, near Marina Piccola. This is Capri. A look from Santa Serafina, painted by Johann Wilhelm Schirmer, 1840. This is in the shade of the vines in Capri, painted by Coleman in 1898. This is a view of the Capri Harbor. Sorrento is a small city with some 16,500 inhabitants and 25 miles south of Naples. As a popular tourist destination, Sorrento overlooks the Bay of Naples. Many viewpoints in the city allow sight of Naples itself across the bay and Vesuvius. Amalfi is a town on the Gulf of Salerno. It is 24 miles southeast of Naples, at the mouth of a deep ravine, and surrounded by dramatic cliffs and coastal scenery. The town of Amalfi was the capital of the Maritime Republic of Amalfi. An important trading power in the Mediterranean from 839 to around 1200. The Amalfi Drive, 
connecting Sorrento and Amalfi, is the narrow road that threads around the high cliffs above the Mediterranean. This map shows the Amalfi Drive connecting Sorrento and Amalfi. The Amalfi Coast, or Castiera Amalfi Trina, in Italian, is a stretch of coastline on the southern side of the Sorrentine Peninsula of Italy. It is famous for its rugged terrain, scenic beauty, picturesque towns and diversity. The Amalfi Coast is listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The Amalfi Drive a breathtaking stretch of winding road carved out of limestone cliffs, begins just west of Sorrento and extends east, through the town of Amalfi, to Salerno. The alluring sights along the Amalfi coast bring many sightseers, and make tourism the chief industry in the region. Sorrento Sites Piazza Tasso is the main town square of Sorrento. Settled Dominova, built in the 1400s, was the official meeting place of Sorrento's rulers. The Palazzo Corriale was started in the 14th century and is a patrician villa. The Chiesa del Rosario dates back to the time of Emperor Constantine in around 380. This is the Chiesa Servi di Maria, or the Church of the Servants of Mary. The Palazzo Museo Bottega dates from the 1700s, and houses a collection of art and furniture. Naples Naples is on the west coast of the Italian peninsula, southeast of Rome and is the capital of the Campania region, and the province of Naples. The most populous and important region in the south of Italy is Campania, with Naples as its main center. Naples is the largest and most prosperous city in southern Italy, with a population of about one million. The metropolitan area of Naples with more than 4.2 million inhabitants is the third largest in Italy after Milan. Unlike many northern Italian cities where immigrants make up a large segment, there are few immigrants in Naples, making up a little over 1.3% of the total population. The name of Naples in Italian is Napoli which came from its Greek name Neapolis, meaning new city. Naples is 120 miles, or 190 kilometers southeast of Rome. Here is Naples, and the Bay of Naples. Just to the southeast of Naples is Salerno, and the Gulf of Salerno. Naples is located on the northern side of the Bay of Naples. Naples is situated halfway between two areas of volcanic activity. Mount Vesuvius to the east and the Campi Flagre, Flagrian Fields, to the west, all part of the Campanian volcanic arc. This view shows M.T. Vesuvius, with Pompeii and Herculaneum in its shadow. Rich in historical, artistic and cultural traditions and gastronomy, inhabitants of the city of Naples speak Neapolitan, Onapulitano, the colorful, rich Romance language that has been a trademark of southern Italy. This history, coupled with its size, has given Naples the unofficial status of being the capital of the south of Italy. Naples was founded around 600 BC by refugees from an ancient Greek colony in Italy. Naples was conquered by the Romans in the 4th century BC. Naples was part of the realms of the Byzantines and then the Saracens in the 11th century Naples was conquered by the Norman ruler of Sicily. Through the 19th century it was the capital of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, 
and the Kingdom of Naples. During the unification of Italy, Naples was entered by Garibaldi's expedition in 1860. Naples was the most bombed Italian city in World War II. There were about 200 airstrikes between 1940 and 1944 by Allied forces, with 180 raids on the city in 1943 alone. Estimates of civilian casualties vary from 20,000 to 25,000 killed. After the war Naples was rebuilt. Modernization has increasingly altered the city's setting and character, and a measure of its new prosperity is reflected in the proliferation of new suburbs. While Naples' importance as the principal power of southern Italy is in decline, the city remains the center of the commerce and culture of southern Italy. Of all the cities of southern Italy with Greek origins, Naples presents the most striking example of a lively continuity. Naples is also perhaps the last great metropolis of Western Europe whose monuments, although often in decay, may still be seen in their popular context without distractions of tourism or commercialism. The port of Naples is one of the Italy's busiest and provides an economic engine for the largely underdeveloped region. Naples is known for its active, colorful community, as well as for its cultural and historic institutions. Mount Vesuvius, responsible for the destruction of ancient Pompeii, can be seen from the city. The most recent eruption of Vesuvius occurred in 1944. This is the Piazza Trieste e Trento, the main square in Naples. On the east side of the Piazza Trieste e Trento is the Teatro San Carlo, built in 1737. The Teatro San Carlo is one of the largest in Europe and seats 2,900. Nearby the Piazza Trieste e Trento is the Palazzo Reale di Napoli, the former royal palace, started in 1600, and restored from 1837 to 1840. The Bourbon kings of Naples used the Palazzo Reale, or royal palace during their rule of the Kingdom of Naples from 1730 to 1860. Today the Palazzo Reale and adjacent grounds house the San Carlo Theater, a museum, the Biblioteca Nazionale, the National Library of Naples, and a number of city offices, including those of the Regional Tourist Board. Castel Nuovo or New Castle, often called Maschio and Gioino is the main symbol of the architecture of Naples. This is very close where the ship ducks. Before Charles I of Anjou came to the throne in 1266, the capital of the Kingdom of Naples was Palermo on Sicily. When the capital was moved in Naples, Charles ordered a new castle, close to the sea built to house the court. The castle was begun in 1279, and completed three years later. Castel Nuovo became the nucleus of the historical center of the city, and was often the site of famous events. Castel Nuovo was enlarged and restored several times, the last being in 1823. The Chiesa di San Domenico Maggiore is a massive Gothic edifice built from 1289 to 1324. This shows the location of the Chiesa di San Domenico Maggiore. This is the Chiesa di San Domenico Maggiore. The Chiesa di San Domenico Maggiore was rebuilt in the Renaissance and early Baroque eras and then in the Neo-Gothic style in the 1850s. St. Thomas Aquinas studied and taught in San Domenico Maggiore. 
The Capella San Severo, also known as the Capella San Severo de Sangre, or the Pedatella, is a chapel north of the Church of San Domenico Maggiore, in the historic center of Naples. The Capella di San Severo is more properly named the Chapel of Santa Maria della Pita, or the Pedatella. The Capella di San Severo dates back to 1590 when the San Severo family had a private chapel built in the gardens of the nearby family residence, the Palazzo San Severo. The Cathedral of Naples, or the Duomo, is the main church of Naples. This is the location of the Duomo in Naples. This shows again the location of the Duomo in Naples. The Cathedral of Naples is dedicated to San Gennaro, St. Januarius, the city's patron. The church houses a vial of the San Gennaro's blood that is brought out twice a year, on the first Saturday in May, and on the 19th of September, and usually liquefies. According to legend, if the blood should fail to liquefy, then something bad will happen to Naples. The Cathedral of Naples was completed in the early 14th century under Robert of Anjou. It was built on the foundations of two older basilicas, whose traces can still be seen. Underneath the church, excavations have revealed Greek and Roman artifacts. The Naples National Archaeological Museum, Museo Archeologico Nazionale Napoli is at the northwest corner of the original Greek wall of the city of Neapolis. The Naples National Archaeological Museum contains a large collection of Roman artifacts from Pompeii and Herculaneum. The collection includes works of the highest quality produced in Greek, Roman and Renaissance times. Castel de Lovo, Italian for egg castle, is on a small island. The Megaridas, where Greek colonists founded the original nucleus of the city in the 6th century BC. In the 1st century, the Roman patrician Lucius Licinius Lucullus built a magnificent villa on the site. It was the place where the last Western Roman emperor, Romulus Augustus, was exiled in 476. The first castle on the site was built by the Normans in the 12th century. Castel de Lovo became the seat of the royal chamber and of the state treasury. This location affords an excellent view of the Naples waterfront in the surrounding area. The castle's name stems from a medieval legend which holds that the poet Virgil had a magical egg put in the foundations to support them. The Certosa di San Martino, St. Martin's Charter House, is a former monastery complex. It houses the San Martino Museum. The Certosa di San Martino is the most visible landmark of Naples, perched atop the Vimero Hill that commands the Gulf. As a Carthusian monastery, Certosa di San Martino was finished in 1368 and was dedicated to St. Martin, Bishop of Tours. Today, the Certosa di San Martino houses a museum with a display of Spanish and Bourbon-era artifacts. Jesu Nuovo, Italian for New Jesus, is the name of a church and a square in Naples. The Jesu Nuovo Church and Square are located just outside the western boundary of the historic center of Naples. In addition to the Church of Jesu Nuovo, the square has the Church of Santa Chiara and the Spire of the Immaculate Virgin. Santa Chiara is a religious complex in Naples that includes the Church of Santa Chiara, a monastery, tombs and an archaeological museum. The Santa Chiara Monastery was built in 1310-1340 by King Robert of Anjou, who is buried in the complex. 
The spire of the Immaculate Virgin stands at the center of the Jesu Nuovo Square. It is the tallest and most ornamental of three such plague columns in Naples, built to invoke divine protection from the plague. The spire of the Immaculate Virgin was completed in 1750, after many decades of construction. Subterranean Naples consists of old Greco-Roman reservoirs, dug out from the soft volcanic tufa stone on which, and from which, Naples is built. About half a mile of the many miles of tunnels under the city can be visited from the well-known Napoli Soterrania situated in the historic center of the city in Via dei Tribunali. There are also large catacombs in Napoli Soterrania. The Piscina Mirabilis was the main cistern serving the Bay of Naples during Roman times. The system of tunnels and cisterns cover most of the city and lies approximately 100 feet or 30 meters below ground level. During World War II, these tunnels were used as air raid shelters, and there are inscriptions in the walls which depict the suffering endured during that time. Stadio San Paolo is a multi use stadium in Naples and the third largest football stadium in Italy. It is currently used mostly for football matches. The stadium was built in 1959 and underwent extensive renovations in 1989 for the 1990 World Cup. The present capacity of Stadio San Paolo is 78,000. Naples is by tradition the home of pizza. It is the birthplace of the pizza margarita, which traditionally is made with mozzarella cheese, pomodoro tomato and basil, representing, respectively, the red, white, and green of the Italian flag. The pizza was named when it was served to Queen Margarita during her visit to the city. These are trams. Trolley buses and buses in Corso Giuseppe Garibaldi. A good way to tour Naples is the city sightseeing hop on hop off bus. You can get the hop on hop off bus at the Piazza Municipio, near the Castello Nuovo, just a short walk from the ship at the Stazione Maratima. The cost for the tour is 22 euros for all day long. There are three loops, and you can transfer from one to the other. The duration of each loop varies from 75 to 115 minutes. The cruise terminal, Stazione Mahratima, is centrally located, and close to the hydrofoil to Capri, and also a short walk right into town. The busiest traffic intersection in Naples is the Piazza Trieste e Trento, just a short distance from the Stazione Maritima. This is the Piazza Trieste e Trento. Around Naples. The islands of Capri, Ischia, and Procida can all be reached quickly by hydrofoils and ferries. Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast are situated south of Naples. The Roman ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum, destroyed in the 79 AD eruption of Vesuvius, are also nearby. Naples is also near the volcanic area known as the Campi Flegrei and the port towns of Pozzuoli and Bea, which were part of the vast Roman naval facility, Portus Julius. The climate of Naples Will it be hot in Naples? Or will it be very hot?
Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Naples. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Naples. The daytime temperatures in the winter months are moderate 85 masculine ordinal F or 29 masculine ordinal C. At night, the temperatures drop to a more comfortable 76 masculine ordinal F or 24 masculine ordinal C. The daytime temperatures in the summer months are very warm 80 masculine ordinal F or 27 masculine ordinal C. At night the temperatures drop to a pleasant 60 masculine ordinal F or 5 masculine ordinal C. Rainfall in Naples Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Naples. The total yearly rainfall is 40 inches, or 1,007 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Naples. Recommended video, Travel Naples, Italy, Top 5 Things to Do, 1 Minutes, 9 Seconds. Recommended video, Rick Steves Europe, Naples and Pompeii, 25 minutes, 5 seconds. Recommended video, Napoli Vacation Travel Video Guide, 26 minutes, T. Mediterranean Links Table of Contents